troubleshooting uh, air conditioning. I'm on the rooftop. We can see the contactor is engaged. I'm gonna make sure that it's letting full power through as nothing is running right now. The fan or the condenser is not running. We have 208 volts, which is enough to run this condensing fan and compressor, but let's see why we don't have either one of those running. Compressor super hot. Fan motor. Fan motor is also hot. Make sure we got the right disconnect. That's just ghost voltage. That would beep if it were live. With both the fan motor and the compressor being hot and off on overload, our most likely culprit is gonna be a bad capacitor, dual run capacitor. Gonna remove this hard start first. Gonna set my meter to microfarads. I'm gonna test the Herm. Thirty-five MFD. That looks good. Now I'm going to test the fan microfarads. I've got nothing. The tech that was out here said he replaced this fan motor. I'm guessing he didn't do the capacitor. I don't know how I feel about this connection right here. Maybe that, maybe that's what took the capacitor out. So let's go to the shop, grab another capacitor and we're gonna fix this the right way. This fan uses a four MFD capacitor. I know we're not going to have any of those in stock, so we'll have to go with a five. They've got one 35 by five left. I'm going to swap out the entire capacitor. If I was in a jam, I could just piggyback a five onto this old capacitor that's busted on the fan side. One thing I noticed, which could also be contributing to this problem, not good that this is a this is a 14 to 16 gauge I don't know if you can read that so that's for wire that is thicker than this wire this wire is only 18 gauge I'm gonna head over here to my new trusty HVAC bag still working on loading this up This is what we want. No, we don't want the blue. That's what we just had. We want the red. This is the 18 to 22 gauge. This wire has been compromised, so we're gonna start fresh. So this is 18 gauge. I'm gonna use the second slot down, which is 16 to 18. Push this all the way in. Now, I don't use um, the crimpers on $10, $20 electrical wire strippers. I've got a dedicated pair. I love this one. It makes really nice crimp joints. Give it a little tug. That ain't going nowhere. 
Now we just need to hook up this capacitor, this dual run capacitor. Purple is going to be our common. Fan, um, fan is always, should always be brown. Don't take my word on that. If it's wired right, color coded right anyway. Red is going to be common. Orange is going to be Herm. This is color coded. This is usually how they are color coded. I'm going to slide that in there. And this is an older compressor. So I'm definitely going to hook this hard start back up. Or am I? This wire looks melted. Now this wire is 16 gauge. So I will be using blue for this. I just didn't like how that wire looked. I wanna make sure I leave and everything is nice and clean. Clean connections. One to Herm. One to common. I want to make sure all connections are tight. The power is already off. It takes a couple seconds to check. These connections are super tight. I like that. Just squeezing down on this clamp a little bit so this ain't wobbling around. Don't want any arcing going on. I'm not moving at all now. Don't want no don't want these wires pinching against the metal. Before I put the power back on, I just want to take an amp reading on this fan. And I'll also do the compressor as well. camera can't catch how fast it's spinning but it's spinning fast got our compressor amp draw looks good hope you guys learned something on this always look for the root problem this fix is done and now i'm off to the next one hope to see you there